Alrighty YouTube, what's up? It's I Genesis here, and today I have a really cool video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download multiple emulators on your iPhone. Now, what you're going to want to do first of all is visit the link in the description below. Once it, once you click it, it'll take you to uh, MojoInstaller.co, uh, and it will take you here. All right. Uh, it's gonna. You're just gonna hit install directly on your iDevice. Build custom profile, and I've already done this, but I'll just walk through it with you. Uh, as you can see, it's already there. You're just gonna hit install, and that's gonna have a lot more stuff's gonna come up, and you're just gonna hit install and everything like that. It it uh, shouldn't be that long. It shouldn't take uh, that much time. It's pretty much all self-explanatory. Okay, so now what we're going to do is once you've installed the app, you're going to go here, and you are going to go to uh, sources official mojo repo and as you can see all the apps are going to come up here but we're going to want gamepad uh... and we're just going to hit install and now once it installs you're going to go to settings uh... date and time and you know what you're going to do set it all the way back to 2012 it turns it automatically off and um... yeah once it downloads, if it tells you it's not verified, set the date back to uh, 2016 as soon as it downloads because it works uh, with it works in 2016. Uh, set the date back automatically. Come over to uh, Settings General, Profiles and Device Management, whichever one it was. I think it's Fuso Jadien, and just hit Verify. And once it's verified, the app's ready. Now, please be aware, it will take some time for it to download. As you can see here, I currently have Goldeneye running. The most laggy version of Goldeneye ever. But, uh, but it, it's Goldeneye nonetheless. Anyway, I'm going to actually show you how to get this. Okay, right here. See, I haven't had this for very long, so I'm just kind of working around working with it. Okay, so once you've head to the once you head to the app, you're going to go to you're going to head to category and you are going to find a bunch of platforms. Whatever one you want, you're going to search up N64, well, cuz that's the one I'm using, and a bunch of games are going to come up. Now, please note some of them are in Japanese, so in order just to see if they are or not, just look at it here and if it if it doesn't have any Japanese text, you're good. If a game, if there's a game here you don't want, just search it up. As you can see, I had Goldeneye, so I'll just search that up. Goldeneye, right there. Hit install. Instead of start, it'll be install. It, the only reason to start is because I already have it. So, anyways, yeah, just hit uh, start, and once it downloads, it's gonna take about a minute to download, and I mean actually a minute. Um, you're going to head to my game, and you're gonna go over to platform, and it's gonna be right there, and you're gonna hit Goldeneye, and you're gonna hit start. Uh, you may be actually asked to update this app. Don't update it because it will lock you out. Don't bother updating it. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much uh, how to play multi-emulators uh, on your iPhone. This works as of September 4th, 2016. Uh, so yeah, and this is after the uh, latest iOS patch or iOS update. You can call them patches too because sometimes they uh, patch these things, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so guys, I hope this was very helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this brings back lots of memories for you guys. Okay, guys, just a few more things I want to run by you here uh, before I end it. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, you need to have a very uh, current iPhone, like an iPhone 6 or, you know, an iPhone 5. Maybe not even an iPhone 5, actually. Um, more of the recent Apple products will be better because, let's face it here, the N64 and the PlayStation and uh, other, like GameCube and stuff like that, are uh, run on a very high frame rate, and uh, it'll just lag if you have an old phone. I have an iPhone 6, so yeah, make sure you have a current iPhone uh, or a current iPad, the newer version or the second newest version, because you're going to need it. Because otherwise the game will just lag. It won't work good on an old phone. Now, the same cannot be said for the Game Boy emulators and stuff like that. Because they will run They will run on pretty much all the voices. They'll run pretty good. Because they don't run at a very high frame rate. Um, yeah. 
So that's pretty much the only thing I needed to tell you guys. And also, uh, during the last clip there, if the controller looked really messed up, just flip it on landscape and it'll be fine. Uh, preferably, you want to get this on an iPad because bigger screen, obviously. But anyways, uh, you can get it on an iPhone, it works. So yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to run that by you and just uh, clear everything up. Alright guys, so see you all later. I hope this works for you.